Okay, so sodium hydroxide. We have Na for sodium hydroxide is OH minus. It's plus one, minus one. So it's just going to be NaOH because it's already balanced. And that's aqueous because it's sodium. Or you can check the chart. Um, and then iron 3 acetate. So Fe plus 3 and acetate is minus 1. So for this one, we need 3 acetates for one of those Fe's to balance out the charge. So we'll have Fe. C2H3O2, whoops, two. And we'll have three of them. And hopefully, if you check the chart, that should be aqueous as well. All right. And because if you look up here, the Na is plus and this is minus. So they're going to go together on the other side. So we'll have Na. And because they're plus one and minus one, they just go together. c 2 h 302. It's already balanced because it's one and one. All right. Plus Fe. All right. So now iron is plus three. OH is minus one. So we need three of these OHs. So it will be Fe OH three. We'll have to check that. Now because we know sodium is always aqueous, this one's going to be aqueous. And then we just have to check the chart, and then we'll find out that the iron 3 hydroxide is solid, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, good. Okay, are we done with the problem? No. What do we have to do next? We have to balance it, right? Okay, before we balance it, does anyone have any questions? Okay, cool. So let's balance it. If we look, we'll see there's one hydroxide over here, and there's three over there, all right? So, I'm just going to write it out so we can keep track of everything. Okay, and everything's one except the acetate is three. And then Na. Here, everything is one except hydroxide. Okay, so how do we make this balanced? Yeah, Jake. Put a three in front of each of the sodium compounds. All right, cool. Yeah, so let's put a three in front of this one because that'll give us three of those OHs, so that'll balance out the OHs. It also changes the sodiums to three. And then if we do the same thing over here, that changes this sodium to three. And then the acetate also changes now to three, and it should be balanced. Good. Yeah, Tiffany. So the substrate from the first part, these issues don't carry over. Correct. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The subscripts don't come over. So that's why we only have one on this side. Because when you bring it to the other side, you're just trying to balance it first. So you're doing nomenclature first, balance the molecule. And then we balance the whole thing. And that's when we take care of that this was a three by putting that three there. All right? Any other questions?